Hello again, this is Michael, and we're going to jump into Photoshop again here. Uh, show you a couple things. Um, right now, we're looking at some pictures of Ashley that I shot recently. Uh, shot Ashley in the studio. Uh, pretty simple light setup here. Uh, let's bring it into uh, Camera Raw here, and I'll kind of show you what's going on. Uh, the background here is just a black background paper with a red gel being shot into it and one softbox kind of camera camera left I'd I'd say a little to the left and a little above the frame there if you were to zoom out just a little bit you'd actually see the softbox kind of right up in here um, anyways we're bouncing that down into a triflector uh, triflector is a neat little tool for mostly doing headshots but it's good for doing half bodies too um, so simple two light setup, uh, nothing too fancy. All right, let's uh, look at our camera raw settings here. I think we're going to change our white balance to flash. Uh, we could get a little bit more detailed with a gray card, but for now, flash will be fine. Uh, exposure looks a little hot. Maybe bring it down half a stop. Maybe let's put our clarity at 10, our vibrance at 40, and our saturation at 10, and that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and bring that into Photoshop now. Okay, once it comes in, we're going to zoom all the way in, and we're going to grab our let's see, grab our spot healing brush. And what I'm going to do on the spot healing brush here, just uh, for the time being, we're going to change that to lighten. So it is only going to fix um, pieces of the skin that are uh, are darker, like this piece right here. It's darker than what's around it, so I'm going to click on that, and eh, it got rid of most of it, but it left a little bit there, so it's that's okay. I'm going to change that. All right, and I think we're just going to change it back to normal for the time being. Uh, yeah, if you want to get rid of uh, something that is darker in your image and you don't want to affect anything that's lighter, go ahead and change the uh, the mode there to lighten or on the top center of that you could change it to darken if you want to fix something that's lighter than the rest of your picture, or at least lighter than the pixels surrounding it. Okay, I'm not going to get rid of everything here. I still want some texture to the skin. I don't want smooth plastic skin that just looks fake. Um, so we're going to leave some of it, uh, get rid of a few of these. It actually has great skin otherwise. I don't want to mess with it too much. Okay, just going to run around real quick here and fix a few pieces. Okay, I'm also going to throw a skin softening uh, filter on here, so I'll be getting rid of some of that too. Okay, I think that's pretty good. We got one more piece right on the nose, which I'm going to actually fix with the patch tool because of the location that it's in. It would be difficult to fix with a healing brush. So I'm going to grab the patch tool real quick here, grab that, and it's set to source. So I just drag it to an area that I think looks uh, where I want it and let go. And that looks pretty good. All right, not bad. I think I'll grab this right there too. Okay, I'm gonna maybe bring it down. We're looking there. There we go. That's fine. Okay, we're also gonna get rid of these lines under the eyes. Uh, everybody's got them, so you, if you're doing a lot of portraits, you may want to consider just doing this here. Same thing. It, uh, the patch tool will blend in uh, what's around it, so it usually gives you a pretty natural look. And again, I'm gonna leave a little bit there just to, you know, keep it. Uh, real looking. Um, Alright, I think that's good with the skin softening. Let's zoom out here. Alright, and we do want to crop this. We want to get rid of these uh, these triflectors here. So I'm going to grab my crop tool. And I'm going to change it by, let's see, width is going to be 4 by 6. I'm not going to put a resolution in here, so it's not going to shrink down my picture at all. It's only going to um, change my Let's see. How's that? Okay, I think we're actually pretty good there. Okay. 
Yeah, that looks good. Cut the arm off a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, we're just zooming in and, and cutting off everything extraneous. So, okay. Now, since we're only going to use this on the web, I'm going to size this down to 900 pixels. Bring it back up, and it uh, looks pretty good. Uh, not too bad. I'm going to put a Noise Ninja filter on here. Uh, noise Ninja is a great plugin for getting rid of noise in a picture, but it also works really good as a skin softener. Uh, not that Ashley needs a lot of it. We're going to take down the opacity in just a minute, but I'm going to mask out. Let's see the logo here. Mask out the pants. Uh, definitely mask out the hair. You always want nice, sharp hair. So mask that out. I think I'm going to just change the opacity on my brush down to 50% and mask out the skin. Um, if you run Noise Ninja at its full strength and use it for skin softening, your skin is going to come out really plastic looking. And that's not what you want. So I think we're pretty good here. Yeah. Okay. So I think we can go ahead and just drop the opacity maybe down to 70. There we go. That's good. I'm going to flatten my layers. And that looks pretty good. We've got a natural vignette just from the way the background light is set up. Uh, gives us our darker corners. If I didn't have this, I'd probably throw a vignette on there, but I think um, it's got that natural vignette, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, and we're just going to do a quick sharpen here. I'm doing lab sharpen. Um, I'll go through lab real quick here. Change this to lab color. Now what's going to happen here is we've got different channels. we got lab, lightness, and A and B. Uh, lab is all three channels. We just want to grab the lightness channel, so we'll go ahead and click on that. Then we're going to go to our sharpen, and we can just do a regular un unsharp mask. I'll bring the radius down to, uh, let's see, 8, maybe 150 or so. That looks pretty good. Now when we click on OK and we go back to lab, you can see that the picture was sharpened, but you didn't get any of those, um, you didn't get any of that artifacting around your colors from, uh, from sharpening. So actually, I'm gonna. It's actually a little. Uh, it's not too bad. A little sharp, but actually, it's a little bit too much. Let's go back here. Okay, we got Noise Ninja. And I'll merge that down. Change it to Lab again, and grab our Lightness layer, and Filter, Sharpen on Sharp Mask. Bring that down maybe to five or yeah five is good and one twenty one twenty three good enough okay now we go there that's a lot better change our mode back to RGB and you can see that the RGB mode changed it back to our red green and blue channels and so go back to layers here and I think we're good with this picture uh, not too much more that needs to be done so I'm going to grab my watermark. Pop it in there. Oops, something's wrong here. We're on 50% still. Brush tool. Okay. Change my opacity back to 100%. And there we go. That's what we wanted. So we'll flatten that. And I think we're done. Okay, we've got a final picture of Ashley here. Let me show it full screen so we can see it. Bring it in there just uh, so you can see it there. And that's our final picture. Um, it's always a good idea to have a, uh, a good picture going into Photoshop. Uh, Photoshop is a great tool, but you know, try to get your lighting down and everything else right before you go too far with it. Um, it's much easier to edit a good picture in Photoshop than to uh, take a bad picture in the Photoshop and try to make it better. So. That'll do it for this time. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you again. Be sure to visit StudioMLP.com for more stuff.